Penang Housing Committee Chairman Jagdeep Singh Dio says that the proposal to build the PPR or People's Housing Project on the remaining Taman Mangis land was rejected by a Barisan National-led state government in 2007. He says Barisan declined the application made by Federal Land Commissioner according to an excerpt of the minutes of meeting on the State Executive Council dated March 28, 2007. He also showed another excerpt of minutes from a meeting in 2005 which reads that the suggestion to develop a portion of the land in Taman Mangis for a mixed project of shop houses and government quarters was done so by the then elected representative Teng Chang Yao. Yang berhormat Encik Teng Chang Yao memaklumkan majlis bahawa satu blok perumahan kos rendah telah dimajukan di atas sebahagian tapak tanah yang berkenaan. Adalah dicadangkan supaya baki tapak tanah yang menghala jalan burmah dibangunkan dengan projek campuran iaitu rumah kedah, rumah kedai dan kuartus kerajaan di belakang. Seterusnya, yang amat berhormat Tan Sri Ketua Menteri berpandangan bahawa memandangkan lokasinya yang agak strategik Tapak tanah itu boleh ditawarkan tender out kepada pemaju swasta untuk tujuan tersebut supaya pihak kerajaan negeri tidak perlu menanggung kos pembinaan yang tinggi. Yang berhormat datuk setiap usaha kerajaan negeri disarankan menyediakan satu kertas untuk pertimbangan MNT. Ini adalah cabutan minik mesyuarat bertarikh 28 September 2005 yang secara jelas menunjukkan cadangan di dalam memo bertarikh 2003 telah diganti dengan satu cadangan baru pada tahun 2005 yang menunjukkan secara jelas objektif dan hasrat asal ataupun cadangan asal untuk membangunkan PPR telah digantikan oleh kerajaan terdahulu. Jack Gibbs says gerakan had misled the public by referring to a memo dated July 1, 2003 which states that there was a proposal to build an additional 14-storey block with 160 PPR units on the remaining land in Taman Mangis. The state government was earlier been criticised for selling the plot to a private company for a hospital and hotel project although the land had been allocated for low-cost housing. Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng had said the state government had no knowledge that the plot had been earmarked for low-cost housing and had decided to offer the land for a specialist hospital project to encourage medical tourism.